Hello everybody. A couple days ago I made this video uh, called The Spark Problem about a problem for returning players and for alts catching up that uh, I foresaw coming in Season 2 with Sparks of Shadow Flame that were coming from the weekly quest, but then if you missed a couple weekly quests uh, or your alt didn't do a couple weekly quests, you would be behind and it would be a, a demoralizing experience that made you not want to play an alt or return to the game uh, later into the patch. So uh, somebody, one of the people, one of the comments, one of the commenters, one of the YouTube commenters, there's also a WoW Community Council member here, Grampus, uh, made a post about this on the Community Council forums uh, and said, uh, you know, season two, there doesn't appear to be any sort of catch-up mechanic. Uh, thanks to Dratnus for making a video about this. Are there any plans for a catch-up system? Or should we plan to make sure we're logging into all of our alts every week to get the splintered sparks? Uh, and then Kyvax came in here with a reply. Uh, that says, Sparks are every two weeks. So th this is the part we already knew. Sparks are every two weeks, and there's a tutorial quest that grants an additional half spark. So you get your first one at the first week of the patch, uh, and then every two weeks thereafter. But here's the part that we didn't know yet. For any characters that fall behind on spark creation, extra sparks. I assume this is like extra spark fragments, but maybe just extra full sparks if you're behind on a spark. Uh, have a chance to drop, a higher chance to drop from sources like M plus and a dungeon chest, PvP wins, the new world boss, your first time defeating the dragon boss of the Firak assault, which is, uh, that's one of the incarnates that uh, got freed at the end of the Razageth encounter that's going to be doing assaults all over the upstairs part of the Dragon Isles while we're busy down in the Zeralic Caverns. Uh, the public event Researchers Under Fire, Niffin Cave Dives, and also Aberus Raid Bosses um, until the character is caught up, which seems like so it depends a little bit. This word higher here is, uh, what is it higher than what? Does this mean, like, I think one way of reading this that I suspect is not correct is that everybody has a chance of getting these from these sources all the way through the patch, which I don't think is going to be accurate, and then you have a higher chance if you're behind. I think instead what this might mean is, like, a higher chance than the sparks that dropped in Season 1, the Bottled Essence sparks, uh, which would be good because that was a pretty low drop rate, right, from those things. Uh, to get these these Season 2 Sparks if you're behind, starting potentially as early as the second week if you don't do the weekly on the first week. Um, I think this is a fantastic way to address this, provided that drop chance is reasonable. Like, if I create a character five weeks in, and so I'm four weekly quests behind, two full Sparks, four half Sparks behind uh, where I could have been, and I spam dungeons and, ra and do a couple of raid clears and kill a couple of, you know... Uh, kill the world boss one or two times. If I can do that and see zero to one sparks or spark fragments, I feel like that would probably be pretty unsatisfying. But if I'm like a favorite to see two or more by doing that, that kind of uh, stuff on that character, uh, I feel like this is more than a good enough solution uh, to this because even if you get, even even when you, if you had your sparks already, you still would need to do that kind of grind to get access to the enchanted shadow flame crests that you'd need to use uh, alongside those sparks anyways. So as long as the process of earning those Enchanted Shadow Flame Crests has a good chance of giving me at least many of the sparks that I'll need uh, on those alts, I think that's really good because this is going to preserve a situation where, like, yeah, the best thing to do is going to be to do that weekly quest on my alts from the start of the patch. But if I don't do that, I can still catch up later if I decide I want to play a character uh, by doing this content. So, uh, great thing here. Very happy to see this. This is uh, a very encouraging encouraging development uh, and i'm glad that uh this my fears here were unfounded um really really just fantastic i guess thing to see coming in here and uh yeah i don't know i don't, I don't know if i should feel happy to that to have made this video and sparked this uh discussion and response uh, or just foolish to have made a video complaining that ended up not panning out because obviously this you know problem does not exist at all now, which is uh, is great. Again, assuming they make a high enough drop chance on the Sparks. If, if it is like the Season 1 Bottled Essence drop rate, then maybe this will still be pretty frustrating uh, on alts. But I'm, I'm putting a lot of faith in the word higher here, meaning that it's relative to like Season 1, which uh, would be very sweet. So uh, that is this video. Season 2, kind of at this point, very, very little worries me about Season 2. And that worries me. That, there must be something lurking in the in one of these posts that I've missed that 
it's going to be bad or something, but I can't see it anymore. I mean, they, the, the course of this PTR cycle, there's just been so many great changes after great changes. And uh, this seems like another one. I'm just, I'm excited to play. I'm excited to raid. I'm excited to do M plus. This just all seems fun. I'm excited to play my main character. I'm excited to play my alts. It's going to be, uh, seems like a, just a great time to be playing World of Warcraft. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. I uh, hope I didn't scare you too much or, or be too much of a bummer with uh, this one, this last one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.